we soon noticed that the more that we did on social, the more that we got back. So the idea of people wanting to get in touch with us was there, we just wasn't handling it very well. So we knew change was needed. We knew that we needed to focus a lot more on our customers and do a lot more for them using social media channels because they were starting to use it more and more. My name is Samantha Cox and I am the Digital Contacts Manager within the Customer Contact Centre here at National Express Coach. We noticed very quickly that what we needed to do was to humanise digital contacts, especially on social. One of the things we did was have um, a tailored training course from an external source of customer whisperers and they were all about emotional connections with text and customers. And it was about realising that the person at the end of that tweet was actually a customer and we needed to connect with them on a much deeper level. Having used social media purely for marketing purposes for so long, it was really keen to us that we needed to get the right tone of voice ready for customer service levels that we were experiencing. We also managed to increase engagement across the board, not just with our internal members of staff and our colleagues, but also with our customers. Because ultimately, that's what social media is all about. It's about engaging with people that you can't necessarily see and giving people the opportunity to come and speak to us. I mean, you could see it as an advanced warning system. We uh, need to be on top of what's happening on social media because often that can turn into a media story. Um, so it's important to know what our customers are saying about us, you know, flagging any potential issues and also any good, good and positive sides um, with which we can then shape a, a media response in advance. So it just allows us to be a bit more on our toes. We now have no tweets that go unanswered, no Facebook messages that go ignored. We respond to everything our customers want to say. We also do a lot more proactive contacts now on social media, whereas before we did not. It was all marketing and that was the only proactive things that we saw going on. But as we've seen more and more customers come into us on social, we're going out to them a lot more as well with really helpful information to help them serve themselves. I suppose to say that social media enables us to keep on top of uh, the perceptions of the brands and what customers and other companies are thinking and saying about the brands and, and any issues that have emerged. Um, so it allows us to shape our response and, and shape people's perceptions of the brand itself. So we saw a real big increase in our social media contacts, which was fantastic, it was exactly what we wanted. But what our customers wanted was a quicker response time from us, and that's exactly what we gave them. We lowered our response times by 152 minutes in a 12 month period. And that's well within our target of one hour response time for all of our customers on social media. So I think it's really important that the company comes out with a consistent response at all times. Um, it just enables us to show that we're singing from the same hymn sheets um, and the fact that our, the PR team and social media team work together, collaborate in advance of um, responding on issues allows us to come out with that consistent response. Historically, even just going back 12 months, uh, the contact centre here at National Express uh, was basically seen as a, as a cost centre to the business, so that's kind of evolved around. Now, in, in, as I just said, in the last 24 months, to really actually a centre which is kind of the voice of the customer. So it has evolved from being seen as this bucket of cash that drips out the bottom into, obviously, um, a, a, a wealth of all knowledge for the rest of the business. Before the year, our cost to serve was at 197 and we reduced that to £1.7. Uh, and what we did was we expanded the social team, which, were, which had three heads, uh, and we merged it within the contact centre. Uh, so we then had it was a set of the digital team, uh, and we increased it with, to 15 heads within the team. And what that enabled us to do is join in the social contact from Twitter, Facebook, as well as then live chat as well, which we've introduced. Uh, and that gave us, um, we incre by increasing the resource, we were able to go through more contacts which enabled us to handle more and then reduce the cost itself. Uh, that did give us a saving this year and what we've done, what we're going to be doing is planning to reinvest the saving to increase the team by a further six, uh, six heads next year. Um, the other plan we've got as well is, um, based on the increase in six heads, is to um, be able to do more chat, reduce voice. And uh, what we've seen this year, the trend is initially we were running at around 90% being voice contacts. We've seen that reduced to 70% being voice and the increase in social. Uh, and with that channel shift, uh, we get to serve more customers more efficiently and uh, uh, get, get to them with a quicker response than waiting for them to come through on call or vice versa, writing in.